Hi students and welcome back to bankexamstudy.com and today I'm going to share the exact syllabus and strategy to start preparation for RBI grade B exam. So I hope you are aware about that RBI has released notification for the recruitment of RBI grade B exam. First of all, let me tell you about uh, what is the job position, how, how good it is. I mean, let, let me tell you a story, a kind of uh, in a incident. Yesterday I got a call uh, from a scale 2 officer in a regional rural bank in an RRB. She is in Ahmedabad. She called me and she told me she, that she is a scale 2 officer and she is getting 55,000 rupees per month in her hand. But still she wants to apply for this RBA grade B exam. I asked her why. She said the job profile is better and like there is better money at RBA, yeah, that is a fact and she'll be posted at a bigger city. I think nothing more can be, you know, explained about this. She's the best person to, you know, give you the recommendation. She's already a scale 2 officer and she's going for the RBA grade B exam. Obviously, yes, if you have prepared for that SBIP or IBPSP exam, RBA grade B is much better than that. PO level exams and yes if you have scored 60% marks in plus 2 and 10th and again in graduation then you are eligible for this exam. Uh, let me tell you about the eligibility first if you haven't uh, gone through the notification the eligibility about marks is 60% throughout 10th plus 2 and graduation and the uh, age should be between 21 to 30 although there is some relaxation for the MPhil, PhD that current employees and the experienced employees from banks right and the number of maximum attempts is like six attempts so let me tell you about the exam pattern and about what kind of questions are asked right so first of all let me tell you that in that pre-exam uh, phase one they call it phase one exam in the phase one exam there is like two hours okay there it is a two hours 120 minutes are there the most important part is here gk general awareness there are 80 marks for general awareness out of 200 80 are allotted to ga that it is and 60 are allotted to reasoning and then English and QT, quantitative aptitude, 30-30 each are allotted to them. So there are 200 marks. So what is important here? The most important section here is GA. Even in that pre-exam in the phase 1 exam, it is not pre, it is phase 1 exam, even at the phase 2 exam, GA and English, if you are good at these two subjects, you can crack the exam. GA is not that difficult in phase 1 exam. If you are confused at like GA is very difficult, they are going to ask about accounting standards and this and that. Yes, that at phase 2 it is difficult. G not difficult, uh, you need to know what to read and learn. But at phase 1 it is not that difficult. Not that difficult at all. It is the same general awareness that you have you know, gone through at the time of SBIPO or IBPSPO. If you are reading current affairs daily, right? And you you just need to learn a little bit more about banking awareness. There is not much static. GK is not there, not that much. A little bit three, four questions are there. But most of the time, what I see is current affairs is very important for the phase one exam. First one is current affairs and the banking awareness. Yes, they ask a lot of questions from banking and current affairs. Let me write here. What they ask is current affairs are important. Banking awareness is very important. You know, static is not that important. Even in that current affair kind of questions, if some, uh, they'll ask who's the chief minister of uh, Telangana, who's the chief minister of Punjab, who's the governor of like Punjab, who's the governor of Delhi, uh, no, not Delhi, they have left in, uh, they have LGs, not LD governors. So these are the questions that they are going to ask in general awareness and it is easy. I mean, these 80 questions, uh, I, the, the student that I have, you know, discussed a, 
in the beginning of this video she told me that she scored like 77 76 marks in this general awareness part she is good at general awareness she is good at that english part and she is not that good at reasoning if you failed in ibps or sbi because of this reasoning or qt and you are good at ga and english you can crack rbi grade v exam yes you can in that reasoning part it is same the syllabus is same you are going to find puzzles yeah, let me rub it the same you are going to find a puzzle seating arrangement there will be puzzle seating arrangements again the seating arrange i hope it's within the frame seating arrangements are there then series is there you are going to find these these topics and further the input output machine input output input output is there and we can find like similar topics are there the same topic like you find in SBIP or IBPSPO the puzzle sitting arrangement the series such kind of questions you, you are going to find in the reasoning section of RBI grade B um, similar type of question machine input output like but the mirror images kind of questions won't be there there will be a lot of puzzle sitting arrangement similar kind of questions will be there 60 and in the english the similar questions rcs you know double pillars close test error spotting i mean similar question in the qt there will be one di set one or two di set that will be purely based on financial statements that is an important point most of the times what i see in qt here is they will give you a graph uh, out of a financial statement that is for clear they will give you series or mixed question based on num uh, time and work time and distance similar questions so that is the phase one exam I don't think it is so hard to crack but as so many students appear for this exam so the cutoff remains so high but if you are an MBA you have an edge in phase 2 at in the phase 1 it uh, everybody is at the same position like there is GA reasoning English QT everybody is at at the same level you know there is nobody is getting an extra advantage over another the phase 2 is like some somewhat uh, different phase 2 is different from phase 1 so let me tell you about the phase 2 there are three papers in phase 2 now let me write about phase 2 now in the phase 2 there are three papers the first paper is like uh, english writing skills yeah english writing skills it all the papers are like 90 minutes one and a half hours and there are all will be online exams you need to type yes the most important point for those you know who are going to appear for phase 2 exam you need to have a good typing speed you need to type your answers in the grade b exam phase 2 of grade b exam there is like english not a normal english it is a descriptive paper english writing skills Sorry for the bad handwriting. It will be like one and a half hour. And there will be like 100 marks for them, you know. 100 marks for each of them. This will be like 300 marks allotted to them. 100 each. And then second one is like so economic and social issues. And economic and social issues and third one is finance and management one and a half hour each with 100 marks like so let me tell talk about this english writing skills this one is important here in the english writing skills you are going to find those simple write an essay write a paragraph write a letter or you'll be get an uh, reading comprehension but there'll be no option like uh, this is one two three four uh, five option there'll be a reading comprehension and you need to write the answers yourself they may ask you what is the theme of this passage like there'll be a reading comprehension what is the theme of this passage i mean 
वट इज अ टोन ऑफ ऑथर यू आर नॉट गेटिंग एनी ऑप्शन वेन देर आर नो ऑप्शन इट इज लिल बिट डिफिकल्ट टू आंसर द क्वेश्चन देर बी नो ऑप्शन एट ऑल यू नीड टू राइट एवरी थिंग यूर सेल्फ लाइक आई हैव मेड आई बुक अबाउट इट एंड आई शेयर द लिंक इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन अगेन फॉर दैट आर बी आई ग्रेड बी एग्जाम आई हैव मेड अ फुल फ्लेज कोर्स राइट आई विल शेयर द लिंक इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन टू टेक दैट कोर्स इन दैट कोर्स एक्चुअली आई हैव मेड वीडियोज वी हैव अ यू नो ग्रुप ऑफ फिफ्टी स्टूडेंट्स आई बी शेयरिंग वीडियोज ई बुक्स देर विल बी अ टेस्ट सीरीज ऑल्सो लॉट ऑफ फन लिंक इज अवेलेबल इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन फॉर द ग्रेड बी कोर्स सो है English writing skills I have already discussed about what are the contents and again in that economics and social issues, you know, uh, RBI has already given the syllabus in their notification. I'll share the link in of this you know uh, detailed handbook in the note in that description. There is a uh, growth and development WTO monetary and fiscal policy privatization. If I you know deeply watch this syllabus, social and economics issue. uh this is like second year book of bcom i mean if you have done bcom i have done bcom it is a second year book of bcom economics there is an i think in the subject is like economics i have done from punjab university and the bcom syllabus is exactly same as this one the import export policy international economic institution uh, so i recommend you to get your Uh, get a friend or you have a if you have a friend ask him to give you the course book of bcom that will be easy there are a lot of books i think they have recommended uh, indian economy by mishra puri it is and i will share a lot of good stuffs about you know what you need to read what to what to follow everything about that in my course like the link is available in the description then finance and management this is my fab subject because and i am an mba in finance so this is my favorite subject so in that uh, fin- finance finance and management these are two different things here for the management this is the easier part you need to get a if if you have any friend in bcom this is the principles of management as a book by prasanna chandra that is a the best book i mean i've gone through that book in my mba and that is a the best book i mean best bestest this is the wrong usage of verb but that that is a principles of management by prasanna chandra i can't write better notes than mr prasanna chandra he did a very brilliant job so i recommend you to follow the prasanna chandra's book for management principles of management by prasanna chandra and it's a, it's not a that huge book it is like this much book like Four five hundred pages, and he explained everything. I I expect that hundred percent of the questions will be asked from Prasanna Chandra's book because I think even in their notification uh, RB or uh, RB's notification, they have mentioned that read Prasanna Chandra's book. That is the best book by an Indian author for principles of management. Like for the finance, the syllabus is like uh, it's kind of deep syllabus. They're having like financial system there are, it is divided into three parts financial system financial markets and general topics for the financial system it is about uh, financial system regulators it is about rbi you need to read about rbi in depth you need to read about how it works what are their functions i mean what are the authorities what they can do how they manage the commercial banks what are the policies for M- nbfcs like what are gold loans what are the recent updates about gold loans and all and financial market the primary market secondary market forex money bond function in uh, monetary policy fiscal policy and all that for the general topics it is a normal you know finance books or risk management derivatives what is put what is futures swap these are normal topics like i am going to share the link in the description i don't think it's worthful to you know uh, just mention the syllabus here so i am going to start my course within next 4 to 5 days and i request all of you there will be like maximum 50 students i am not expecting like 50 plus students i am not going to allow more than 50 students in this course there will be maximum there will be 50 students and we people as a group with the help of my team we are a team of 3 teachers and we are going to teach each and every subject i am taking like finance and then management and the phase 1 i am taking qt 
and then i am taking like reasoning and my fellow teachers are going to take reasoning one of my teacher they are going to take that economics and social issues so there'll be a, a closed group of 50 students there'll be a whatsapp group i'm going to give you the test series i'm going to give you the video lectures further there will be like daily test and you can access everything in your mobile also uh, we'll provide a mobile application and android application to you you can buy the course from gk digest the link is available in the description i hope you like this video please subscribe our youtube channel just click the subscribe button like this video and if you have any doubt even if you are not joining our group if you have any doubt you can you know post your comment in the description and normally in the fresh videos i reply all the comments within 24 hours you can email me i'm giving you my email id email id and and my landline email id is raman at the rate of bank exams today dot com that is my email id raman at the rate of bank exams today dot com and in case you want to have a chat with me that is my landline number that is my personal number you can call me anytime we can have a chat about it we can discuss about it but make sure you have a you know genuine question if you are you know having a discussion just have a good question i mean not a normal question at if you have a normal kind of you can just uh, post a comment on my blog or just you know uh, comment below and if there is something emergency if i am not uh, replying your co comment then second option is mailing me the first option is having a comment then then you can mail me and if there is anything very important then just call me and yes if you are very serious about rbi grade b you should join our group a link is available in the description and have a nice day uh, thank you